assisted reproduction in and of itself may cause a very slight increase in birth defects or chromosomal problems. But what most people don't realize is that couples with fertility difficulties already have a significantly increased risk of having children with birth defects or uh, chromosomal problems. The uh, addition of assisted reproduction might augment that a small amount. We're talking maybe a percent or, or less. Uh, so couples who already have uh, infertility and are going through uh, embryo adoption may have a very slight increased risk of uh, having a child with birth defects compared to if they got pregnant on their own, but it would just be very slight. Couples who are going through embryo adoption for other reasons, just because they feel called to adopt or for, for social reasons, other genetic reasons, they may have a, a somewhat increased risk. Embryo adoption in and of itself doesn't pose any health risks. We do have to screen all of the embryos for infectious diseases and almost all of these embryos have had complete screening and have passed. But because no infections have ever been documented to have come about after the transfer of frozen embryos, the risk appears to be extremely minute or non-existent. And in fact, the FDA does allow us to transfer embryos even uh, from women who have not, or from couples who have not had this screening, as long as we inform the couple, the, the uh, recipient couple.